My name is Prez and I work at Thrillist. Around these parts, I'm known as the $5 lunch guy. Every episode, I'm gonna put you guys onto the very finest New York rub for $5 or less. Dude, are you serious right now? Russian? Really? So here's the thing about Russian food. I know less than nothing about Russian food. I mean, I know there's Russian dressing and I know there's a huge community in Coney Island, but am I really gonna go to Coney for a five buck lunch? I think not. Hey, wait, did you say Coney Island? Yeah. You totally don't have to go that far. There's actually a place three blocks up from here. It's called Taramak. Only three blocks? Yeah, I normally get the Bellinis. It's like a Russian style crepe and they're fabulous. That sounds amazing, guys. Three blocks away, easy. Yeah. Thank you so much. Yeah, no problem, good luck. <laughs> So these are the rules of Operation Five Buck Lunch. It's gotta be good, cause nobody wants bad food for lunch. No big chains, cause that's just too easy. It's gotta be $5 or less. And whatever I don't use today rolls over into the next episode. I hope you guys are ready for the most epic journey in Five Buck Lunch history. We're going all of three blocks for lunch. Operation Five Buck Lunch Russian food is a go. But first, do you know anything about Russian food? I don't. Do you know anything about Russian food? I don't. Really? Yeah. Now, have you ever had a Bellini? A Bellini? No. Have you ever had a Bellini? No, I have not. Well, actually, I'm Polish, and we have crepes there, and we call them nalastiki. The way my grandma makes them is you put sugar in the batter, and Ooh. so, like, you could eat it without anything in it. It's just, like, you roll it up, and it's sweet. That's so, perfect, and yeah. she makes it the best, clearly, right? Yes. Okay, so you don't want to shout at anybody else. Yeah, no. Yeah, I have had that actually. My ex-girlfriend, who I just broke up with. What's up, y'all? Hey! Uh, she worked in this Russian cafe, and she used to bitch all the time about the Bellini. Oh, nice. Well, I like, tried it once. Yeah. One, so. two, three. Hey! So speaking to the people, I'm glad it's not just me who knows nothing about Russian food. But what I did learn is that within most cultures, they have some sort of crepe-like, Bellini-like dish. Whether you're Puerto Rican, or you're Romanian, or you're Polish. But we're here for the one and only Russian style Teramak. Let's go. Ooh. And we take the selfie. Hello. So my homegirl put me onto this place and she says you guys have amazing bellinis. So what is a bellini? A bellini is sort of like a crepe. It's a solid like this right here, we roll it. Uh -huh. And then we put the filling in the middle and then we roll it up to like a burrito and put it in the wrap. I mean, I only have five bucks, so I, I definitely love John. What, what do you have? So the cheapest one will be chicken and apple. That will be five thirty nine. Lucky for us, I still have a dollar ten left from the last episode, so I'm definitely gonna hit that one up. Enjoying your pickup straight down here. Still got leftover. We win in. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. Come on. Oh yes, I am pumped. So guys, I know I didn't give you your fun fact yet, but you're about to get it right now. Fun fact, fun fact. Yo, can we get a graphic for this for real? Like, I feel like I need a fun fact graphic. So, I was talking to the manager and he was telling me that Bellinis were popularized in the United States by Eastern European Jewish immigrants who served them with cheese and oil, something very simple, and they served them during the holidays. Let's get into it. Oh, straight away. That smell gets much stronger. Wait, wait. First, a selfie. Oh. This reminds me of like when you eat a burrito at, um, um, except more flippity floppity and with meat and like this cream. Anyways, let's go. Mm. Oh, yeah. This is a romantic part. It's nothing crazy, it's just three ingredients, but together they're amazing. You have the Bellini, of course, this beautiful pillow of magical goodness. You have the slow cooked chicken, which is cooked perfectly. It's not too dry, and it's definitely amazing as well. And the most amazing part, definitely said that three times, they're amazing, amazing, most amazing part, three amazings. You have the apple cream sauce. This is, smells and tastes fantastic. That's really good. I, I could definitely eat this two or three more times, but uh, 
Well, they got five plus bucks, so what are you gonna do? Mission accomplished. Let's take this outside. Shout out to Terramok. That was fantastic. Bellinis are definitely my new joint. Today was a success. We've had every single one of our points. It's not a big chain, at least in New York. We got to use our rollover change, and most importantly, it was delicious. I'm happy. Can't go wrong. I will see you later, as we say in Russia, Priyatnava Apatita. Peace. All right, guys, if you guys want to see me eat more food that's not from the fridge, let us know where to go next time in the comments. Also, follow our Instagram at $5LunchGuy. Other than that, follow, like, share, subscribe, and I'll see you guys later. Peace.